Have you been thinking about making the move to Langley City or you just wanna learn a little bit more about the municipality? Then you're in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about Langley City. I'm gonna be going over everything from a general overview to home prices to rent prices to the stores, shopping, amenities, and so much more. And it's all coming at you right after this. What's going on guys? My name is Alex Dunbar and I'm a local realtor right here in Langley City. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you absolutely everything there is to know about the area. If this is your first time on my channel, I make weekly real estate videos pertaining to the BC and Canadian real estate market, as well as showcase community tours, just like this across the Lower Mainland. So if that's something you're interested in seeing more of, I suggest you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I come out with a new video. And if you haven't seen them already, I have several other videos highlighting different communities across Langley. So once you're finished with this video, I suggest you head over to my channel and check them out. Being a resident of Langley myself, I absolutely love educating others on what it has to offer. And I've been getting tons of phone calls, emails, and texts from people just like yourself who are looking to move into the area. So if that is something that you're considering and you'd like to discuss your unique situation a little bit more, you can scroll down and hit the first link in the description to book a call with me to go over your option. And just before we dive into the video today, I'll ask that you do one small favor for me and that's to hit the like button so the algorithm will push this video out to more individuals just like yourself who want to learn more about Langley. And with that, let's start off with a general overview of Langley City. The city of Langley is a 10 square kilometer urban center located in the middle of the Lower Mainland. With a population of nearly 30,000 people, it offers its residents all the amenities of a major urban center. It's got great shopping, dining, world-class education and entertainment facilities, extensive recreational opportunities and community events, plus over 346 acres of parkland. A little bit of history is on March 15th, 1955 was when the city of Langley actually incorporated and became its own municipality. This is important to keep in mind because we have the township of Langley and the city of Langley and their different municipalities. However, when we refer to Langley as a whole, we typically just include both of them. Moving on, let's take a look at the location. Langley city is directly east of the city of Surrey and is bordered by Cloverdale to the west, Willoughby to the north, Salmon River to the northeast, Murrayville to the southeast, and Brookswood to the south. It is a part of the Metro Vancouver Regional District as well as the Lower Mainland. The city of Langley marks the crossroads for several major highways as well as three U.S. border crossings. Within the city of Langley, there are six defined neighborhoods. You've got Nicomechel, Douglas, Simmons, Blacklock, Alice Brown, and Uplands. In regards to the time that it takes to drive to some of the major landmarks in the Lower Mainland, it takes about five to 10 minutes to get to the Costco in Langley, 45 minutes minutes to get to downtown Vancouver, 30 minutes to get to Burnaby, 30 minutes to get to Abbotsford, 20 to 25 minutes to get to the SkyTrain, 45 minutes to get to the Vancouver Airport, 20 minutes to get to the US border, 40 minutes to get to the Tawasson Ferries, and 5 to 10 minutes to get to the Langley Hospital. In regards to housing, Langley City has a pretty good mix of all different property types from condos to townhomes to detached homes. Mainly built between the 1960s and 90s, lot sizes are typically smaller and there's typically less basement suites. The properties are generally serviced with water, hydro, sewer, and most of them have gas. You can also expect to find lots of street parking in this well-planned established community. Moving on to home prices, the benchmark prices in Langley City are actually lower than that of the rest of Langley, especially for detached homes. The benchmark price for detached homes is about $1.273 million, for townhomes is about $814,000, and for condos is about $583,000. In regards to the rental market, there's typically quite a few rentals rentals available. In general, the majority of condos and townhomes are rental friendly, but you do still always want to check the strata bylaws if this is a concern. Rental rates can start as low as $1,000 for a studio sized basement suite, and they pretty much just go up from there. But once again, rental rates here in Langley City are actually going to be lower than that of the rest of Langley. And these rates are really going to depend on different things such as location, floor plan, size, and privacy. If you are interested in finding a property to rent, it is not a service that I personally provide. However, I will leave a link in the description with a couple of different sites where you can look for different rentals. In regards to rental prices, the average price for a one bedroom condo is about $1,600 per month. A two bedroom condo is gonna run you about $2,200 per month. A three bedroom condo is gonna run you around $2,800 per month. And a three bedroom townhome is gonna run you around $3,200 per month. Please keep in mind, these are just estimates. Next, let's move on to some of the highlights of the community. First is the fact that it's so convenient and 
accessible. Langley City is the perfect blend of the urban life in the suburbs, with everything being walkable, lots of little shops, and yet everything you need for your daily life. It's great for both commuters and those who take transit, and it's only set to get better with a future SkyTrain extension coming in the year 2028. Next, it's got great food and dining. There are more options than you could possibly ask for. Have a craving for sushi, Thai, Italian, pizza? No problem. There are so many different options in the downtown area of Langley, and most of them are walking distance from one another. Lately, there's even been a few ramen and vegan restaurants that have opened up, and they're absolutely amazing. But I'll get to some of my favorite restaurants in the area in just a minute. Next, it's the shopping. Everything you need to live day to day conveniently is right at your fingertips. Langley City has all your typical big box stores, but it's also got all your small independent businesses with a beautiful mix of small coffee shops, breweries, and boutique shops to give you a ton of variety. And of course, the highlight of the area is the Willowbrook Mall, which we'll get to in a minute. Next is the entertainment. There's tons of fun things to do in Langley City, from the casinos to restaurants to parks and walking trails. There's gonna be something for you to do year round. For the kids, you've got Chuck E. Cheese and Go Bananas. Langley City also hosts lots of year round events, festivals, parades, and outdoor concerts. This means there's always lots of fun and adventure for you. And finally, we have prominent and local businesses. The commercial and retail area of downtown Langley is often referred to as the one way by its residents. Both residents and tourists alike are attracted to its selection of boutiques, quaint shops, cafes, and independent restaurants. Langley City has also turned into the craft beer hub of the Fraser Valley. And once you decide to move here, you too can open up your local business to become a success. Moving on, let's take a look at some of the parks. There's not as many parks as the outskirts of the township of Langley. However, there are still many walking trails throughout the city. A few of the notables being Sendall Gardens, Bryden Park and Lagoon, Nickameckle Trail, Langley City Off-Leash Dog Park, and Douglas Park. In regards to golf courses, there's not very many. However, I will mention a few. First of all, you've got the High Knoll Driving Range and Mini Golf. And while technically this is Cloverdale, the only real way to access this is through Langley City. Next, you've got the Newlands Golf and Country Club. This is technically only your full 18 hole course, but it's affordable and a lot of fun. And lastly, we have the Golf Den. Now, this isn't technically a course, it's actually indoor virtual golf, but it allows you to play year round. You can bring your own clubs, hit real balls, and play a variety of famous courses. While you're there, you can also enjoy some great food and drinks from their Taco Fusion Mexican Eats menu as well. Moving on to schools, there are nine schools in Langley City. These include H.D. Stafford, Nicomechel Elementary, and Uplands Elementary. In regards to daycares, there are a ton of options all across Langley City, so you don't have to worry about that. But as I like to warn people, if you are considering making the move here, I suggest you inquire earlier than later. The reason being is that there can be long wait lists at many daycares, sometimes over a year. So just make sure you get on it sooner rather than later. Moving on, let's take a look at the amenities. I think the biggest and most obvious one is definitely the Willowbrook Shopping Center. This is one of the largest and most dynamic retail spaces in all of BC. It's currently home to 140 stores, however, it is undergoing additional renovations. And once completed, this will give the shopping center an additional 140,000 square feet of space. The number of stores will be increased to over 200, and this new addition will include a food court, outdoor pedestrian shopping area, and gathering spaces. Next, we've got the Cascades Casino, and this is also home to the Coast Hotel and Convention Center. The casino is open 24 seven and is home to over a thousand slot machines. They've also got all your other classic favorites like poker, blackjack, baccarat, and roulette. Next is the Twin Rinks Arenas. This is a 90,000 square foot facility that's home to two NHL sized rinks as well as other recreational facilities. They host a range of minor hockey organizations and a number of high profile minor hockey tournaments every single year. Next, we've got Costco, and this is more than likely gonna be your go-to spot for groceries and cheap gas. However, you're gonna wanna avoid coming on the weekends when you don't have to because it's gonna be an absolute nightmare trying to find parking. And lastly, we've got the Club 16 Trevor Linden Fitness Facility. This is a massive facility that also has a sheets fit section just for women. There are over 80 pieces of cardio equipment with a large free weight and machine area. And it's only gonna cost you $18 a month. So if you're not looking for some sort of a niche fitness facility, this is where I suggest you go. In regards to groceries, you've pretty much got all your staples. As I previously mentioned, you've got Costco, but you've also got Save On Foods, Safeway, No Frills, Real 
Canadian Superstore and more. Next, we'll move on to restaurants. So I'm gonna go over a couple of my favorites here. But in all honesty, there's just way too many to mention. First of all, we've got Haven Kitchen and Bar. This is a great spot for those looking for some adventurous food and drink. It's got an upbeat atmosphere and a bit of a younger crowd with their famous Instagram worthy wall and pretty much anyone who's ever gone here has probably taken a picture of it. It's described as a modern casual dining with a global adventurous approach. Proudly independent, quirky, and probably too loud for your grandma. Next, we've got Camp Beer. They've always got an awesome selection of craft beer and the best atmosphere out of any brewery I've ever been to. And while you're there, you'll actually feel like you're camping. They've got one of the best outdoor patios in all of Langley. And I can't forget to mention the patio is dog friendly too. Next, we've got Enora. And in my opinion, this is the best restaurant in town, hands down. Here, you can enjoy fine West Coast dining with top quality local ingredients. And if you're trying to impress a date, this is where you should take them. It's a small, intimate spot with top-notch service. But just make sure you make reservations at least two weeks early because they book up fast. Next, we've got the Blacksmith Bakery. Here, you're gonna wanna try their signature delicious treats, gourmet sandwiches, and a range of espresso-based beverages. Their croissants will literally melt in your mouth. And with their original location in Fort Langley, they're actually set to open up a third location in the Latimer Village. And it's pretty easy to see why they've been so successful. Moving on, we've got the Pink Arvo Cafe. This place offers a cool vibe, great coffee, and amazing vegan and vegetarian food. They serve a collection of ethically sourced and locally roasted blends from Milano Coffee, and you can enjoy your avocado toast and lavender latte in a bright, inviting, plant-filled atmosphere. And lastly, we've got Emilio Fanati Pizza. This is the best pizza in town, seriously. Their award-winning thin crust pizza will change your life. Or you could try one of their calzones or salads. But just a little tip here is that it's a takeout only place as they have no eat-in dining. And as I previously mentioned, there are so many more restaurants I could name, but I really just don't have time in this video. But very quickly, I do have to touch on the addition of all the new breweries. You've got Five Roads, Trading Post, Camp Beer, and Farm Country Brewing. And if you're a craft beer lover like myself, this is gonna be important to you. In regards to coffee shops, there's definitely no shortage of them. If you're a Starbucks or Tim Hortons person, Langley's got you covered. You're pretty much gonna be able to find one or the other on every single corner. Alternatively, there's plenty of great local coffee shops as well. To quickly name a couple, you've got Twins Coffee and the Coastal Coffee House. As far as banks go, you've pretty much got all your major banks and credit unions. And as for fitness facilities, if you aren't gonna go to Club 16 like I suggested, there's tons of other small niche fitness facilities. So there's really gonna be something for everyone. It just depends on your preferences and your price point. In regards to medical, there are tons of walking clinics and medical centers across Langley city, as well as lots of places to get your prescription filled. Additionally, the Langley Hospital located in Murrayville is only a 5 to 10 minute drive away. Moving on, let's take a look at the walkability. With a walk score of 84, Langley City has the highest walk score in all of Langley, making it a walker's paradise. Daily errands typically don't require a car and you're going to have quick access to pretty much everything. As far as bike score, that comes in quite high as well at 75. Langley City is considered very bikeable and it's going to be extremely convenient for any daily errands or trips. Next, let's look at transit. The bus system here is actually pretty great. There are lots of bus routes and accessibility throughout Langley City. As for taxis and ride chairs, this is also great. Whether you're trying to get an Uber or a taxi, you typically won't have to wait very long. In regards to the overall transit score, Langley City comes in at 63. And this is because, as I mentioned, it is relatively easy to get around. But this is only going to improve with the future SkyTrain extension coming into Langley City, which I previously mentioned. Moving on, who is Langley City best for? First of all, is young people and couples. A big part of this is because of its affordability and availability of starter homes. With lots of breweries, bicycle shops, and vegan cafes, Langley City has developed itself as a hip and trendy hub. And that's why it's so great for young couples and first-time buyers. Next is families. Once again, affordability is a big factor here, especially with detached homes being significantly cheaper than most of the rest of Langley. However, I wouldn't suggest the downtown area for families, but the perimeter for sure. That's where I personally live, and I absolutely love it here. There's lots of local parks, parks, playgrounds, and schools, all within walking distance. And lastly, it's retirees and seniors. Langley City is great for retirees and seniors looking to stay connected to their community and surrounded by like-minded people. There's a decent amount of age-restricted buildings if you go the strata route, which are typically 45 plus or 55 plus. It's also in close proximity to the hospital, so you can put your mind at ease. And just before I finish off this video, I want to go over a couple of things that you might not like. With city life comes a few issues that are typical of the downtown core of any city. Crime and homelessness is higher in some areas, and one of the main reasons being that the support program for those struggling tend to be based out of the city. However, I will mention that it is quite condensed into a few smaller neighborhoods.
neighborhoods, so you just have to know where to avoid. And that's why it's so important to have someone that both lives and works in the area to be looking out for your best interests, because you don't want to end up in the wrong neighborhood. Next is the traffic on 200th Street. This can be an absolute nightmare during rush hour, and the only way to make it worse is if you get stuck behind a train. And although looking at the bigger picture, these things typically shouldn't be a deal breaker, but if you do believe that these things would negatively affect you in too big of a way, then maybe you should reconsider your move. But keep in mind, you can always check out the surrounding communities as well. And that's about going to do it for my video today. So if you did get any sort of value whatsoever, all I ask is that you hit that thumbs up button. And if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below and I'd be happy to get back to you. If you are interested in seeing more videos just like this one, I suggest you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I come out with a new video. And before you leave, if you did like this video and you're interested in learning a little bit more about some of the other communities across Langley and Surrey, you can either scroll down and see some of the links in the description or head over to my channel. And lastly, if you are considering making the move to Langley City or one of the surrounding communities, you can scroll down, hit the first link in the description and book a call with me to go over your options at your earliest convenience. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.